Today we'll be learning how to use the density meter. Here's where we're going to actually read off our readings. We actually can control the temperature to one hundredth of a degree Celsius. Um, we'll also need a CRC handbook list of densities for DI water. Here is some technical data about the instrument as well as um, written instructions for the instrument. On the right side of the instrument you'll find DI water and seawater. Um, there are syringes labeled for each sample. Please do not mix these up. Additionally, you'll find the port for the sample. We can also view the U-tube that contains the sample to check for any air bubbles. First, let's inject our DI water so we can get a reference for how the instrument is performing that day. And I'm just going to see those air bubbles flow through. More air bubbles. That's what you're going to be looking for. And once you're satisfied, we're going to scan the length of the U-tube to look for any bubbles. You'll want to set the temperature of the U-tube to the temperature of the uh, seawater sample that you measured um, in your BOD experiment. In this case, I chose 21.3. Notice that it will take some time for the U-tube to uh, equilibrate to the temperature you set. Um, and you'll see that the sample, this is sped up of course, um, and that it, it will overshoot your temperature, don't worry. It starts to come back down and it'll overshoot it again, and eventually it, it will equi equilibrate, just be patient. Now we can actually start the measurement. But this time you just sit back and wait. At this time it'll be good to check this with the CRC handbook and this just happened to be right on the money. Um, before you insert uh, or take a measurement for the seawater you'll have to wash the U-tube uh, three times. Consider what type of error um, would be introduced if we didn't do this. When you're done for the day, or rather when you finish your measurements, make sure that you uh, wash the U-tube with DI water three times to ensure that the uh, U-tube is conditioned for the next user.